Strap in, because we're about to go on a wild ride. Welcome back to Tech Gooch. Today, we're creating a video for more of the business class people out there. Um, this is definitely going to be oriented more towards small businesses than the traditional home uh, environment. This is something I have been working with Ubiquity for for a while with some ideas, kind of throw it back and forth. And I've worked with them in the past on a couple of their router systems for the home. And I really, really wanted to do something a little bit more out there and so they hooked me up and they hooked me up really good so this is going to be a four part video series a four part sorry um we're going to actually split this into four individual videos i'm going to upload them all at the same time so you don't have to worry about waiting for one over the other but i wanted to split it up so that i didn't have one hour and 20 minute long video i had four shorter more intense videos on one specific product but I wanted to at least start the video series to show you what's coming. Because we're going to start with the Unified Dream Machine. That's going to be their, their business class gateway. Uh, it's got 8 port gigabit switch built into it. It's got a capability of an NVR being a Dream Machine NVR. So a hard drive slot in it. It's got a uh, 10 gig SFP. It's pretty awesome. Then we got one of their Unify uh, switches. This is the 24 port gigabit switch. Also with, with SFP. A little more basic, right? It's, it is a switch, but it is one of their uh, uh, Unify switches. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. Then we've got two access points. Two different access points. And I really wanted to stress on this to get two different types of ones. So we have the uh, uh, Nano, right? The Nano HD. And then we have the Flex HD, which... Let's turn that upside, right side up. Jeez. Um, so we... Uh, we have two different APs. Each of them are going to have their own specific video. Um, they're power over Ethernet based APs like most in the business class architecture are. So, yes. Um, each of these videos is going to start with me unboxing it to show everything that comes with it. And then we'll go into the setup phase. So, let's get started. Alright, so we're going for a little wider view here for the, the Dream Machine Pro. Um, of course, I've got my best dad ever knife and we're gonna go ahead and cut this guy open really looking forward to this video specifically on the dream machine pro okay so as we open it up we have a nice little box here in the top we'll open that here in a second and then we have the dream machine pro and that is what's in the box Doo -doo -doo. Okay, it opens on the back. All these are going to be rack mountable, um, at least in the Dream Machine Pro, as well as the switch when we get to that part as well. Um, so in here I'm assuming that there's going to be rack ears. Okay, so we got the hardware kit. We do have the rack ears, we've got our power cable, and a little book. Not a whole lot of stuff in there. Let's see what comes in the hardware kit. Aha. So, it comes with the hardware necessary to mount it. So we have just uh, several different screw varieties. We're obviously going to mount these ears on here. Um, Pads, if you're not using it in a rack mounting environment where you're going to rack mount it, they do have uh, little rubber sticky pads that you can put on the bottom. So it actually is not just rusting on the chassis so you don't get the vibrations. And then uh, if your rack doesn't have, or if you don't have screws for your rack, it does come with uh, rack screws. They may not be the, the variety that you need or require, but they do at least give you four option, or one option that comes with it. So um, what we're going to do is to start set up here is we're going to get the ears mounted on here real quick. So, yeah, let's do that real quick. 
Okay, so we have the racks, um, the rack ears here. Out of this rack kit, we should be, I'm assuming, using these screws here, so four per side. So get those out. And they're just gonna screw in to the side of the unit. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this one and then get the other one on there as well. Okay, so um, I didn't warn you, my nice chewed up screwdriver, you like that, my Klein. This used to be my work screwdriver until I got a new one and then my dog destroyed it for me. Still it's fine, it's just the rubber handle is destroyed in the, the back part of it, but yeah. That's obviously not important, but so we have, here you can see I have the rack ears on both sides. So up front we have, um, this would be I'm assuming for the, the hard drive bay. Yes, there it is. Look at that. That is simple and awesome. Cool. All right. I'm sure that I'll do something with that in the in the future. Uh, maybe I should stick that back out. Have our eight port switch. We have our SFP over here. We have yeah, we have everything on here ready to go. Backside um, USB connect here in the corner. And then we actually have our power. Uh, in. So just, uh, yeah, should be good to go. Um, I believe even the eight ports on this are actually PoE as well because they're actually based for cameras. So yeah, we'll get going with setup on this. I do kind of like the simple setting. So you, you take it out, right? We uh, put the hard drive in if you can. You plug in some uh, some devices. You plug your wide area network into the port here, and then you download the app and you do everything through the app. That, <laughs> that's a pretty cool way to just simplify things, right? So we're gonna go rack mount it and uh, follow the instructions. So this is the rack space we're going into. This is my current setup that I'm upgrading obviously to a, uh, a business enterprise unit. So I do have a Cisco switch that I'm gonna be swapping out for my the new Ubiquiti switch. Right now I'm using the Google Nest router and I'm gonna rip that guy out. And I'm gonna actually change this whole setup. So I'm not gonna do that on camera. I'm just gonna realign everything and then we'll start putting things in starting with the gateway. So let me get this ready for us and then we'll get going. Okay, so we're gonna start this process. I have everything kind of brought down as you can see as well. So I changed a little bit of everything. Um, we're gonna bring in the, um, the main, the gateway right here, the Unify Dream Pro. Uh, and we got it right here. Now I have uh, my own rack, rack hardware that works with my racks, so I'm going to use those mounting screws rather than the ones that came with the actual uh, system. But we're going to go ahead and put him in right here real quick. Alright, so we're done. I can actually take the little sticker off the screen. That's the one thing we haven't seen yet because it's been hidden by that guy. So now we have that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the power cable routed in the back side of it. So she's starting up. Now, as you can see, the lights on my modem are currently turned off because every time you change out with a new router, you got to restart that as well. So uh, I'm going to use um, this white cable right here. And that is going to be my connection from my modem to my to the gateway, which I have right here. So I ran it kind of up and around to kind of hide it the best I can. So I'm gonna bring that in right here. Kind of like that. And uh, we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the uh, modem real quick as well. So we can get a connection on that. So we're gonna give a few minutes to get everything up and booted and ready to go, and then we'll continue set up. So as you can see here, uh, the Dream Machine Pro has already done it. It said no, de no internet detected. Just a minute ago it said please restart your modem. So it's basically a really smart system. It knows it hasn't received an IP so it's, it's waiting to receive that. I'm waiting for the modem to reconnect here. It's going to be a few more moments. So the modem actually just connected. So let's see what happens if uh, things happen automatically. Internet detected. Mediacom cable. It even knows my, my provider. That's pretty awesome. Ready for setup. 
and it looks like you can do Apple or Google Play, so we're going to do it right on the phone um, from the app. We're not going to do it from your computer, we're going to do it from the app. Okay, so we have the Unify Network app, which is the app that we're going to use to set this up. I've not opened it yet, so we're going to open it for the first time. All right, I'd like to use Bluetooth. That's how we're going to connect to it, obviously. Unify Network would like to find... Uh, that's okay with me. I'd like to send you notifications. I'm fine with that. We're going to hit set up a new device. Device discovery. One device found. All right, so we found the device that we're looking for, which is the only device I have currently plugged in anyway. We're going to hit set up. Let it connect. Connected. UDM Pro. I'm going to keep it as the standard, just the UDM Pro as the name. Hit next. Uh, create a UI account. I'm going to do that real quick. I'll be right back. We'll hit create an account. Auto optimize. Recommended. Send diagnostic and performance information. Uh, I'm okay with both of those actually right now. Everybody's different and every time. Okay. The last firmware app contains every day at 3 a.m. Uh, let's do it at 2 a.m. You can change this at any time, obviously. We're going to do an internet speed test. Let's let it do its thing. Getting waves. Holy cow. Speed test has failed. Let me give it another try. That's interesting. It's kind of off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on. All right, now she's ramping up, and now she's doing a little more solid. That was kind of funky how I was going up and down. That was crazy. Still going up and down. That's really maddening. Please make sure the Dream Machine has access to the internet. Yes, we do have access to the internet. Interesting. We're going to skip it because it looks like we, we have good internet connection. It's just kind of up and down, which is weird right now. But it is middle of the day. So time zone Chicago auto update at that time. That's fine with me. Configuring device and network settings. We're going to go about 20 seconds. All right. It's kind of crazy. Up. Let me show you real, something real quick uh, while it does its thing here. I'm going to unlock this and up here it's actually telling us ah if you can see that we're connected to my phone in two minutes 44 seconds so it's not taking very long to set this thing up that's for darn sure and it really isn't hard so far either so that's always a good thing as well setup complete look at that perfect timing updating the firmware of course why not let it go we'll be back all right that uh, lapse time for that uh, firmware update was like five minutes, it, and actually it was pretty close. So total lapse time for our setup was seven minutes and nine seconds. And I, we did that that uh, test a few times, so you know that slowed us down a little bit. Manage UDM Pro while connected to local network. Unify slash home. That's all you have to plug in there. Unify.ui.com. Manage any of your networks and account from anywhere in the world, so you can actually see your device from anywhere through your actual Ubiquity account. Let's hit the dashboard. <clears throat> connected how would you rate the installation actually it was pretty awesome and I'm not going to do that right now anyway so okay so obviously we don't have anything connected to it we don't have nothing we have nothing plugged into it because the first step here is just getting the gateway up and running uh, and making sure that it's fully connected now from in here as well um, I'll probably do another video here in the future that's going to go through the whole uh, use and how the back end looks for it but right now we are we have internet and we are good to go so that is step one step two is next and that's going to be with the switch so before I ended with the Dream Machine here, I wanted to at least show you some of the information on this little display, because it is a little touch panel actually. So like network settings, we can actually look at how much data is being used, how many clients are attached, wired versus wireless, um, up to date, so what the, our, our uh, software version is on it, our firmware version. And then we can just swipe down and go next, protect, which we don't really have uh, any cameras currently connected to this that are Unify cameras. Access points. I, I do have actually some access points attached already and then talk, but and then settings. Oh, just the uh, display settings. Uh, oh, fan, whether or not, you know, currently it's kicked on auto. It's 42 degrees in there, but speed 0%. So kind of tells you the information on that. And then you can restart it from there too. That's pretty cool. I didn't see that before. So yeah, and about. So you can leave all this information up if you'd like. Otherwise it will go to sleep automatically and then you just basically touch the display and it'll kick back on. So, step one, getting the Unified Dream Machine Pro up and running. 
We are awesome. We are all set. We're all set for step two, which is coming up here, uh, which is the next video here in this series. Uh, but I did want to put it, uh, I have actually did the, the video setup videos yesterday, and so it's been a day, and so I've had a little bit of thought process in the, uh, I guess in the end here. I'm going to do a fifth video. So we're going to have one, two, three, four of the setup, and then I'm going to have some thoughts and, uh, I guess, suggestions, I guess, when at the end on the fifth video kind of encompassing the entire setup process so if some of the things that you, you thought maybe should have been covered in this video weren't um, definitely hit to the fifth video because i'm gonna hit it there second thing um i set this guy up with my phone using the mobile app you do not have to use the mobile app to set it up it's just really easy um there is also a, a interface uh through the web browser so um there's just multiple ways to set this guy up and the mobile app is very powerful and you can do so much with it and it shows you so much information, but it made it really easy because I could be right next to it to make sure everything was going as it was going. I didn't have to have a laptop with me or anything. So um, made it very, 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 very simple. So that said, guys, thank you for watching this first video. Um, please click the link for the second one. It's going to be coming up here or down below. Um, but uh, thanks for watching to the end here. And uh, if you don't need anything else, then you don't need anything else. So we'll see you soon. Otherwise, watch the second video. Thanks for watching.